Okay, in this video I'm going to show you some ways to um, fix if you have lagging problems, like lag spikes usually occurring like every couple of minutes or 30 to 60 seconds. Like if you play a game like Call of Duty 4, you might have um, every little while you get a... Um, Go to says something connection problem, and then it will show up for like a couple seconds and then disappear, and you'll be playing normal again. Or if some games it has a little thing in the corner that says um, warning disconnection in like 30 seconds, and then that will pop off, and you continue playing, or you'll get to disconnect it. But um. So, right here, I have three files. These are both three different ways of ways to stop your lag. First one I'm going to show you is Vista Anti-Lag. This one is specifically for Vista. And you can try it on XP, it might work. But it's mainly for Vista, so I'll put the download links in the right hand corner. First, you gotta install this English. Okay. Free install. So I'm gonna run it. That's fine. This is a different type of um, icon than on my other computer. So you select your network adapter and you activate Val. Now, once it's active, it shows up in the corner. Active and you just minimize and it stays on the corner of your dash bar while you run your game now if you also have what I do in COD 4 is I run this but I don't run this first I run this one uh, wireless optimizer so you extract it first wireless optimizer open the programs and you're gonna run I'd extract it into a folder on your desktop or something because you gotta open the folder every time to run it or you can put a shortcut on your desktop so you run it you accept conditions yes and you can change the options here on startup and it shows you the website and it says optimize and then I hide this. And then usually after running that with COD4 specifically, I run Vista Anti-Lag if I'm on a Vista computer. So I run both of them. That seems to work. Optimizer works on XP and Vista that I've had experiences with. And then another one is a bat file. that um, there's a thing on Vista mainly and I'm pretty sure they use a different one on XP but this might work but on Vista I know it works this is um, this is WLAN and it disables it this is it refreshes so here you have the network and I have hit connect network this has to keep refreshing. It refreshes every 30 seconds. Call it, when you're playing a game, it causes a, like, a th little lag spike every 30 or whatever seconds it updates. And um, with this enabled, this doesn't work. So you can, this is what you do. You um, connect to whatever you're connected to. Then you run this. You run it as admin. It disables the wireless network connection auto configuration. So if I go connect to a network, it cannot find any additional networks. But I'm still connected to the internet because I already connected before activating this. So then if you want to connect to it again, you just hit enter. And it's activated again. And you can connect to network and you can connect to another network again.
so what I do is I connect to a network, my computer starts up, connects to the network, I start this, I run it. It disables wireless connection auto configuration. I exit. You don't have to check that it works, but I'm just showing you that it worked. And then you run your game, and it runs without any lag. For me, this works really well with Steam games like Counter Strike and Half Life 2. Well, not Half Life 2, but Gary's Mod for Half Life 2. That's what I use it for. And Team Fortress 2, too. But that runs really well with those. It can also run well with other games, too. But I found this a pain. It doesn't. The laptop I'm using it on, I don't have it now because I have a good enough wireless card that. I, it's my Dell laptop. It works well. But I have a Linksy, like the 60 or $70 Linksy wireless card, which for that much money, it's horrible. I don't suggest getting it. I forget what it's called. It's like the W, no. And it's the desktop one, the PCI desktop one that you plug in. And it's just horrible. So I have to run this whenever I play Source games. And I run both of these when I run COD 4. Or I haven't tried this with COD 4, I don't know why. No, these didn't work well with Steam, I don't think. But um, these are just three programs you can use. And I'll put download links in the sidebar. But um, they work pretty well, so check them out.